Alright. Sci what? Sci <laughs> fucking five. Is it our did we not Is it our did we not This is Chris from Allegion and we're blowing it up on Capital Chaos TV. Hi, this is Empire with Capital Chaos, and here with me I have a legion getting ready to perform at Ace of Spades in Sacramento. I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic. I want you to tell your name and what you do with the band. My name is Chris. I do vocals for a legion. Yo, I'm Mike. I do drums for a legion. Hey, I'm Hayden, and I play guitar for a legion. I'm Blake, and I play guitar for a legion. I'm Kyle, and I play bass for a legion. All right, so you guys are the only local band on this show tonight with Chelsea Grin and Vanna and Attila. What does that feel like? What do you? A lot of pressure. How you? How you doing? Doing great. Awesome. Feels great. Yeah. It's awesome. So they're, they're saying it all titties. <laughs> it's Chelsea Grin and Allegiant. What's selling pre-sales for Chelsea Grin and Allegiant really when you're the only band playing? You know, you just people come to you. Yeah, this <laughs> is true. Right? So what's life like as a Sacramento metal band? Hard, beer. but satisfying, and full of beer. Beer. Well, we, we all know how many bands are in the Sacramento music scene. You know, there's a lot of competition, but, you know, a lot of us have respect for other bands around. So, uh -huh. I mean, you know, it's all in, you know, I, I guess, family, family. Yeah. family. There you go. Bro. Practice <laughs> makes perfect, you know. You just got to practice, like, as much as you can. Get together. That's the hard part is getting everyone together. Mm -hmm. The best part is getting shitty and playing. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys like to party. Of oh. course. Yes. Yeah, That's what we do. <laughs> what, give me a typical night of what it's like to party with the Legion. Well, my, my house has about at least like eight or ten people at it all the time. And like Minimum. every night someone's smoking, someone's drinking all the time. Mm -hmm. we, recently, just, we recently just played a show in Woodland that was ass. Uh, but afterwards, like 60 people just showed up out of nowhere wanting to drink booze. So. <laughs> It's just it's it's just fun. It's just fun. We just like to get together with the 916 music scene and have fun and show them that we appreciate that they support us. Right? That, that's awesome. Every band should support every each other. That's what we're we're here for. So you guys have been together about a year, a little over a year. Um, so about a year. Yeah. Okay. So how have you gotten on some of these major major shows? What is your secret? This good. <laughs> this right here. I used to be a booking agent around here and. Uh, and then I just decided one day, I was like, you know, this isn't fun enough for me. I want to really get into a band and really experience it. So um, through the luck of, you know, the people that I knew at the time, you know, um, they helped me out and uh, we try our best and we put forth our best effort and we give 100%. So we try to bring our A game every night. That's why you're here tonight. So when can we expect an EP? Uh, an EP. Oh, okay. Uh, I think this summer, actually. <laughs> I want to listen to it in my car. I actually believe this summer. Um, right now, we just finished up our newest song, uh, and we just re finished up our other song, River City Rager. So we plan on putting out our EP, which is going to be titled Pirate Bar in the White House, and uh, which is going to be full of I love pirates. skeleton sex. Um, <laughs> it's going to be more technical. But it's going to be definitely a little bit more technical, uh, more... Just as bouncy. Yeah, just, just as, as bouncy. bouncy. Mm -hmm. just Where are you guys going to be doing that at? Are you recording with someone? or? We really want to do Castle Ultimate. Like, we were considering going to Castle Ultimate to start recording the So EP. if you see this Castle Ultimate, cut us a good deal. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, speaking of sex, let's talk about porn. What is your favorite kind of porn? But six. Me too. Asian. Suicide Silence was a big idol of mine, and I saw him looking at Brazilian fart porn once, and I got really into that after that. Can you please elaborate on that? What is, what no, is, no, I can't. You cannot let you choose to plead the fifth on that? All right, so we're going to have to Google that. Look it up yourself. <laughs> what about you? I like the Asian girls. Exotic, just foreign, foreign women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I record my own. <laughs> I record Can we find it online, or is this like private? Sex <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> And find the video of us at poopsex.com. Look at this face. Yeah. How about you? I like robots. <laughs> <laughs> Robot sex. So do they use like oil? Is oil is lube? Yeah. Uh, That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> I prefer spit, but you know, to each his own. What about Facebook trolls? What do you guys think about those? I am the gigantic troll of Facebook. All right, let's go ahead and define it for the people that don't know what that means. That means if you see me on Facebook and I'm talking shit, I'm an asshole. <laughs> and it means he's having fun doing and it. And yes, I am. I'm having a lot of fun. And if you get pissed off over what I You're say, a fucking pussy. yes. 
It's Facebook, you know? So you don't really care too much about the people that are like, fuck that guy, he talks hella shit. You know, it's entertainment, you know? Like, it what it is is that you get on there and you say what you want and you try to make people crack a few laughs, you know? And then some people take it way too personally. Some people get butt hurt. But the way we look at it is is that the people who get our... Um, that get our humor mm -hmm. is going to be the ones that we want to stick around with us anyway. Well, yeah, that's why we've been friends for a while because yes. we're a little sick and twisted. Yeah. Well, All right. If we weren't friends, uh, like they would have already kicked me out a long time ago over my <laughs> asshole ways. <so. laughs> All right. So this year, if you could play with anyone, because I know you guys have already played with some big bands, who could it be, or who would you want to play with? If you could play with anyone. Uh, Apparitions. He said, "I declare war." Keisha Strain. Apparitions from uh, Arizona, they used to be Knights of the Abyss. Oh, uh, Knights of the Abyss, yeah. yeah. They already took all the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, uh, oh. Let him um, for me. Design the Skyline! King, King Con- Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna play with Design the Skyline! <laughs> King Who Conquer the fuck? From, from Florida, they're hella tight. King Conquer. Yeah. King, King and, uh, Conquer. And I would love to play with the Pond and Burning Body. Actually, yes. Rings of Saturn. Rings of fucking Saturn. You know, they're not our genre, but I would fucking make babies to them all night and every day. Hey. I'll make babies with you. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Bro, man. So what about Sacramento bands? Anyone you haven't played with yet, or somebody you want to play with more? Shadows, but those fuckers aren't yeah. playing. Yeah, Shadows, yeah, of, the Shadows. Shadows of the Colossus. They need to come back. They need to hurry up and do it. Um, if I had to pick another band, we're about to play with conducting. conducting. I'm stoked about conducting. that. Yeah, yeah. we haven't played with conducting. Yet, conducting so. from the grave. I mean, like those guys are our homies. We love Greg. Greg Donnelly. What's up? So when is your guys' next gig after this? Um, we're playing a house party coming up with Fallujah next week. Yeah, yeah. Love we're stoked guys. for that. And then uh, after that, then our next show is going to be in a uh, series with Conducting from the Grave, mm -hmm. and uh, that's going to be titties. So eventually, are you guys going to make plans to tour and leave the little hood and venture on, out? Yeah, we plan on going on tour actually this summer after we finish up the EP. Mm -hmm. So um, we're in talks right now with a few bands to go out on tour. Uh, we're planning on doing a full West Coast. Um, and they want us to go all the way out to Illinois, but you know, being a local band and coming up, we're we're trying, mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, but we plan on hitting the road soon this summer and um, hopefully we'll see you in a town near you. Awesome, awesome. So if you want to hear a Legion or see them, request them. Um, who writes your guys' stuff? Is it one person, everybody? We all, we all collaborate. Mm -hmm. We work together. Do you do it sober? No, so we, we, we actually, literally the we other day the we had planned to practice all day long. We didn't practice until 8 o'clock at night because that's when the weed got there. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, some of our, like, best stuff comes out when people are stoned. And he's the only straight edge person in the band. Nice. High five to you, bud. High five. It's okay. Me, me too. No. <laughs> so where, where does your guys' lyrics come from? Is it all personal stuff? Experiences? That's all me, and it's a... Uh, some of it's personal experience. Some of it is, uh, you know, just, just trying to have fun with. Just the trying fans, to have fun, you know, you know like mm -hmm. trying to relate with the fans because everybody loves to party, and if you don't, you're a damn prude. Yeah. Sure. You know, like you know, you you only have one life. You get out there, you live it a little bit. So um, we just want to connect with people on a level that they can relate. So. Basically, we, we take our music seriously, but not not very seriously at all. No, no. Just a, just a little bit. The rest of it is all for us, for fun, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, exactly. That's good. So, what are you guys doing when you're not making music and partying? Acid. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually not lying. This man over here does a lot of acid. <laughs> Getting booty. Expanding your mind. <laughs> she knows what's up. She knows what's up. What do you like to listen to when you fry? Pink Floyd. Yeah. Some fucking. Have you ever watched the wall? I've watched the wall on way too many drugs. Do not what watch about, the wall. What about party? watching Tool or Pussifer? By sixty foot parachute. Oh. Top that shit. Wow. <laughs> that is rad. So what are you guys gonna do tonight after the show? Go get drunk. Attila. <laughs> we want to party with Attila. Yeah, we and wanna it's gonna happen. France. We want to party with Attila. Hopefully Attila doesn't like you know say, man, we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> They're like, hey man, come party with us. You're in Sacramento for the night. Come let us show you how 916 gets down. So, like, we just want to have fun, even if it's, with, if it's with our fans. We're not going to be that type of band that says, you know, we're just going to hit the road immediately right after and not hang out with the fans. You know, mm -hmm. like, we want to relate with everyone who supports our music. So, All we right. just wanted to get drunk and have a good time. 
So speaking of supporting music, if you could give advice from your perspective to any of the local bands in Sacramento or dudes that want to start a band, what would you tell them as far as what you think it takes to make it or what your advice is to be? I got, I got something. Go slow first. Don't try to start playing as fast as you can right off the bat because you're going to sound like Duke. <laughs> I'm so tired of all these bands coming out. They're like, I'm going to be in a grand car band and then they start playing and they can't play the music. Mm -hmm. Just take your time. You know, you've got all the time in the world. I mean, you see how old performers are nowadays. You're not running out of time, even if you think you are. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much to go up on stage and have a good time. So take your time. Just get good at your instrument before you do it, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Don't Anyone rush. Else? Don't rush. Anything. I like to compare with uh, almost a UFC fight. Like, if you would have a professional UFC fight, you wouldn't go out and go fight Anderson Silva untrained. You would go and train. That's why I'd like to see with our band is to get everything down to a pinpoint and then go play live shows, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Play from the heart. Take more drugs. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't just don't just uh do it for everyone else. Don't do it just for the fans, but don't you, do it for, for giant. Do it for you. Do it do it, do it for you, you know what I mean? Like uh and don't let anybody tell you how you should be, how what you should play. I mean, like, you all get together, you collaborate your sound how you want it. Motionless and white is living proof of this. Yes. <laughs> so just, just be yourself. That's, That's that the best key. advice I can give. That is key. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to meet with me. If you want to go ahead and here's your opportunity to say whatever you want to your fans or the people that don't know of your music, let them know what your message is. Um, we're a legion from Sacramento, California. If you haven't checked us out, check us out. www.facebook.com slash allegion916. Come check it out. Download our demo. Check out a show. Come party with us. Join an orgy. Join an orgy. And stay away from my man! And rub your nipples while we play. <laughs> this is Blake from Allegion, and we're giving you blowjobs from Capital Chaos.